Um, hello everyone. Okay, so we are still talking about strings. All right. Now, we've said that strings are a bit special, right? And let let's talk more about creating a string. Now, now in the previous video, we mentioned that the the programmers or the people who basically designed the Java language have written what's called a class, right? Which is basically code that allows us to create string objects, right? Now, we said we should think of a class as a mother, right? And then we should think of an object as the baby. So the mother gives birth to the, gives birth to the baby. We create objects from classes, and programmers design these classes. Now, the, the class that is used to create string object is called string. It was, it was designed, remember we talked about it briefly, that it's designed by the people who created Java, and it's in the Java API, this huge library of code, basically. Okay, that allows us to do extra stuff, or allows us to do stuff. So, the string that allows us to, the, sorry, the class that allows us to create string object is called string. And so, anytime you want to create, or, or basically anytime you want to declare, declare a, a variable that is going to hold, or a variable of, of type string, you have to use the name of the class. Okay, so let's don't get confused here. Let's just use, see an example of how to declare a string, a variable that's going to hold a string object in the future. So, an example would be something like this: string, and then I'll give the variable a name. Okay. So normally, so before that, normally when you're creating a variable, let's say an integer, right? You you start with an int, and then you you call that variable number. Something like this. Now we've declared a variable and said that, okay, the computer should reserve a space in memory, call that space number, and only, al only allow var values of type int, integers to be stored in this space. Okay, so let's just get rid of that. The same way when you're trying to create strings, right, we start with the keyword string. Now, string, again, is the name of the class that we use Okay, we uh, the class that we create objects from, all right. We use the name and then we give the va our variable a name. Okay, it's going to be a regular variable. We we'll give it a name. I'm going to call the, this, let's say, full name, right? <clears throat> and so what I've done over here is this: I I've told the computer to basically reserve space in its memory, call that space full name, and allow only string object to fill that space okay now th so th remember we talked about the fact that strings are not primitive data types right primitive data, ty data types are uh, integers floats doubles chars you know booleans and and so on and so forth now I'll distinguish between what's a primitive data type and what a class type variable I'll, I'll talk about that in the next video but anytime we do something like this Okay, we are trying to declare a string, okay, variable over here. We are saying that we are, you know, the computer should reserve a space in its memory, okay, call that space full name, and only allow values, okay, or basically, only, sorry, only allow string object, okay, object of the type st string, objects created from the string class to be stored in there. We haven't created the string object yet. This is just a variable that's going to, in the future, hold an object that is created from the string class. Okay, so that's what this means. We are creating a variable that is in the future. Well, first I need my semicolon, right? I forgot my semicolon. So over here, we are creating a variable called full name that is in the future going to hold an object created from the string class. We proceed with the name of the class and the name of the variable. We are saying that, okay, this variable is going to hold an object created from the string class, okay? So we'll talk more about um, how to create the object itself, right? But we proceed it with the name of the class, and then we, we give the variable a name. And in the next video, I'll talk about um, the difference between primitive data types and class type variables. All right, one more thing. When you are you know, basically dec declaring variables, declaring variables that are going to hold string object, um, anytime you use the name of the class, okay, the convention is that the you know you capitalize the the class uh, sorry the, the the class the type 
okay the, the class name now if you remember a couple of videos a, a couple of videos back we talked about class naming convention and we said that classes normally begin with uppercase uh, with an uppercase uh, letter now the way the string class was designed in the java api which is basically this huge library of code that allows us to do extra stuff the way this string class was designed by the people who basically designed the java uh, language the way the way the string class was designed was such that it was named okay with an uppercase s so anytime you are trying to create a variable okay you're, you're declaring a variable that's going to hold a string object in the future so make sure that your string always starts with a capital letter s all right, so we're done here. In the next video, I'll talk about the difference between primitive data types and then class type um, class type variables, and then we'll continue with strings so you can you can know more about them. All right, if you have any questions, please comment down below, and I'll do everything to respond to them. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time with the next video. All right then, bye bye.